Shalom Israel, this is Brother Ezekiel of AOI. Today I want to talk to you for a few minutes. Talk to some newcomers into Israel or people that might come into Israel. Uh, some things that you might need to know to help you out when you're first coming into the truth of the Bible. Uh, to help you further understand what the Bible is speaking about. So we're going to start it off with Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. And it reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. That word convert means to change. From which you where something was and to change into something else. So what you're doing is changing the old you into the new you. Because now you're going to be trying to keep the commandments and not sin. And that is important to keep the commandments and not sin because if you're not keeping the commandments, the Most High won't see you, hear your prayers. And he also said that he does not hear sinners. So you will have to get and be converted. That will help you out. And also in order to get a good understanding of the Bible, you must be keeping the commandments. So that's the first point that I want to give you guys. Second thing is, uh, we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And it reads, Trust in the Lord with all the heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. And read it again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. And that is talking about uh, when it comes to the Bible, and you hear something in the Bible, and you want to go to talking about what you think or how you feel. Because you uh, was taught a certain way from certain people, and you come to the truth, and you saying, "Well, when you hear something you can't understand or you don't believe," and you, when you go to saying, "Well, how I feel and how I think," that's irrelevant. You got to go by thus said the Lord. You know, so that's another thing you have to remember to do: do your research and don't. Try to bring what you used to think into uh, as far as learning the Bible as you come into the truth. You have to let that old way of thinking go. So you have to lean not on your own understanding or lean not on what your pastor taught you that went true. And, and you've been taught it so long to it just stained on your brain. Uh, you got to get that stain off your brain. Read for yourself and not lean on your own understanding. Okay, so I'm gonna get one more. We're gonna go to uh, Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10, and it reads For precept must be upon precept, precept among precept. Line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And when it, what that scripture is talking about is, when you read the Bible, you can't read it straight through like a novel. You have to, you might read one verse, you got to bounce around to another verse to get the full understanding of the previous verse that you may have just read. You know, like I said, you can't read it straight through. For example, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68 says that the Lord will bring us into Egypt again with ships. So if you might be thinking, well, we didn't take no ships into Egypt. That's not right. But you have to go to Exodus 20 and 2, where it reads, 
I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage so that lets you know that Egypt is synonymous for bondage so when you go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 he says that I'm gonna and the Lord thy God shall send you into Egypt again with ships he's saying he's gonna send you to bondage or slavery again with ships because the first time we was in bondage we was in Egypt under Pharaoh so he said we didn't follow his commandments and we'll be going into bondage again with ships. That's what Egypt means. When he says, I will send you to Egypt again on ships, he's talking about bondage or slavery. So that's why the Lord said you have to go line upon line, precept upon precept. So you won't get confused. I think the Bible makes no sense. So, just a few things to help people who just coming into the truth out um, and I hope they help you guys out um, once again I am Brother Ezekiel of AOI and I hope this helps you guys out Shalom